Hello and thanks for joining us on TV's News this hour. We are monitoring developments across the country ahead of the planned nationwide protests scheduled for the 1st of August. The Inspector General of Police, Coyote Egbetuk, has asked police officers to uphold the rule of law because of their engagement during the planned nationwide protests scheduled for 1st of August. IGP Egbetuk was speaking at the force headquarters in Abuja when he met with tactical and operation commanders in their mode of operation during the protest. Celestina area has the details. This is a meeting between the Inspector General of Police and personnel of the Police Mobile Force, Counterterrorism Unit, Special Protection Unit, Commander's Intelligent Response Team, Special Tactical Squad, Special Intervention Squad, and other units within the Nigerian Police. This meeting has become pertinent to be able to review the general security situation of the country. Are we okay? It is to also identify emerging threats and develop effective countermeasures to mitigate them. The implementation of operational strategies will also be discussed at this meeting in view of the upcoming planned nationwide protest. To leverage our expertise to develop and execute a robust plan addressing potential risks and challenges. We must be vigilant and be prepared to prevent chaos. Drawing lessons from the 2020 NSAS protest, our paramount objective is to safeguard public safety, maintain law and order, and protect citizens' rights and well-being. Prioritize de-escalation techniques, adherence to established protocols, code of conduct, and the rule of law is paramount. The Inspector General of Police had told leaders of the planned protest to provide details of the schedule of the protest to the Commissioner of Police in their various states. Two letters of notification to the police to um, have a protest has been received by one or two commissioners of police. The law is clear in the provisions of Section 40 of the Constitution which deals on freedom of assembly. The message of the IGP to tactical commanders and operation commanders is that when they encounter challenges during the course of the protest, force should be their last resort. Celestina Iria, TVC News, Abuja. In River State, the police says it has withdrawn some personnel from their duty posts in preparation for the planned nationwide protest. Commissioner of Police, Olatunji Disu, gave update on the security deployment to our briefing journalist in Port Harcourt. Explained that the command has secured the commitments of several interest groups to ensure that there is no breakdown of law and order in any part of the state. We don't want it to be the situation of we versus them. We are all in this together. We have been having wonderful partnership with a lot of people, with a lot of groups in these states. So we don't expect it to be different now. The officers have been told what to do. We have withdrawn our men from essential duties. We have talked to them. They have been trained again and again. We are ready to hold any situation that brings itself to us. 